All right, so we're in the process of cutting these travertine chiseled edge tiles down. And we're doing that because we're all out of the eight by eights, or my customer is. I had a call from a customer to cut them down because they don't make that particular color in eight by eights anymore, but she had a bunch of the 24s and the 18s. So we're just cutting them down. Busted out the old dinosaur. The other couple saws are on a different job, but um, I'll show you how to chisel these edges to make them look like this. There's a couple options. Sometimes I like to use the lag bolt. Other times I'll use the blunt end of the hammer. Other times use the back end or a chisel if it gets that tough, but it all depends. I'll show you once I get these all cut down how we do this. Okay, so we got them all cut. The easiest way is to use a lag bolt, the one, one that has a nut on the end. And we're trying to match this real chiseled look on these edges, on these raw cut edge. So what I'll do is I'll just take this and I'll do a couple areas, not every single spot, but I'll do like a chip there, a chip there, a chip there, a chip there, a chip there. Then I'll take it back to this side and I'll run it all the way down the whole edge and it usually works on most of them. So then it gives you that chiseled edge look. And once you put some sealer on it and seal the whole piece, it usually looks really similar with the chiseled edge here and the chiseled edge here. And then once you get it done and grout it, it really usually looks about the same. So you can do it that way. Or another option is kind of the same, same thing you're doing. And you can take it in this angle here. You can take it and take this part of your hammer and bang, 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 bang. That'll work too. And then you can come back and just kind of hit the rest of the edges. Um, some of the travertine likes to break, so I don't like this method unless we have to. Yeah. So in this particular um, type of travertine, it's just gonna tri chip way too much for me. Although like the natural chip from the factory, it's almost that size, but I don't wanna risk ruining too many of these with that. So I'll just go with the lag bolt and I might come back every once in a while and chip a few of these. And the other option is kind of the same thing, but using the claw edge of the hammer. And that kind of gives you the same, almost the same look. Um, it's a little more work, but you can get that same chiseled edge look by doing that. Good luck.